In the Holy Quran, in Surah As-Safat, chapter 37 of the Holy Quran, uh, in verses 100 and uh, 100, verses 100 to 110, basically, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us, and it's a lot of verses, and we don't have many ta much time to get into these many verses, but the synopsis of this is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us about Ibrahim, alayhi salatu wa salam, rabbi habli min as-salihin, how he asked for a son, and he asked for a righteous son. See what I'm saying? You know, we were just talking about sons killing parents in the first khutbah. I don't know, do we ask for righteous children? Or some of us say, Allah bless me a son who will be a doctor. Bless me with a child who will be an engineer. Bless me with a child who will be a millionaire. Bless me with a child who will be a murderer. Uh, and kill me after they get everything. Do we know what we really ask for? Do we follow the sunnah of the prophets? What did they ask for? Bless me with a child that is righteous. Bina salihin. Allahu Akbar. That's a lesson in itself. You know, <laughs> I want to go into a brief, 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 brief summary of these verses. But just the first verse. Rabbi habli min How many of us ponder over that? How many of us ponder? You know, I must say, uh, Alhamdulillah, Allahu Akbar. There are a lot of good people still around. Don't blame me. I mean, I don't mean to say everybody are bad. But we are just here. The Quran and the Sunnah teaches us to enjoin good. Uh, Bashira wa nadira. Give people glide tidings and warnings. Warnings. So sometimes we have to warn. But there are a lot of good people around. Yeah, there are a lot of good people who make dua for their children to be imams and to be someone who will memorize the Quran when they're babies. Don't, don't wait for when they become a devil. You see what happens a lot of times when our children get off the track and they're. Doing all the worst things in the world, we're like, I wish you would have been an imam, boy. I wish you would have been a sheikh or go to masjid member. It's, I mean, not, not that it's never too late. But come on, let's do better than that. Don't wait for when they are doing all the wrong things. Again, it's never too late. Don't miss the point. We are supposed to seek knowledge from the cradle to the grave, so it's never too late. But why wait for so late? Yeah? Before we have children, do like Prophet Ibrahim alayhi salatu wa salam. Rabbi habli min as Yeah, Allah bless me with a righteous child.